Hi, this is Mark Vruno, editor of MyPrintResource.com, and I'm here this afternoon with Jim Dunn, the president of Heidelberg USA. Thank you, Mark. Hello, Jim. Hi. Thanks for taking the time to be with us. Oh, my pleasure. Um, Jim, we keep hearing a lot about package printing and how this is a growth area mm -hmm. for, for commercial printers today. Um, tell me a little bit about what you're seeing with your customers, specifically in North America and, and, and worldwide. Yeah. yeah. If we look at it at, at two levels, um, Let's first look worldwide. The the uh, non-industrialized market is just plain growing, you know. So if we look at the the BRIC countries and places like that, we just see tremendous more consumption of of uh, consumer products, which of course is driving the packaging side. In the developed countries, it's a little bit different because we see uh, let's say flat tonnage of of uh, packaging materials going out, but a much higher unit price. And the reason behind that's kind of interesting is that the marketing people in the brands mm -hmm. have kind of wrested control back of packaging from the buyers, okay. from the purchasing guys, because they see packaging as a marketing statement. So the net result of it is those packages are of higher quality and are making more of a marketing statement than maybe just carrying the, the goods as we saw before. Mm -hmm. You made mention of commercial printers entering this space, and uh, some have been able to do it. Um, the challenge isn't printing the board, or printing the box, or folding it, or whatever else. It's customer access. And to be able to access buyers for folding carton and the like is um, quite a challenge for them, even though they can do, produce the products and do it very well. Um, what about wide format? I know that's another area that you know a lot of commercial printers think about getting into it, mm -hmm. it's a growth area. Um, as far as your distribution agreement with EFI and ViewTech, mm -hmm. how is that progressing and, and have you seen a lot of, you know, again, commercial printers trying to get into the wide format space? Um, I would say every commercial printer is at least interested to learn about it. Uh, most of them have clients that already demand it at some level, so those clients are either bypassing the commercial printer and maybe going to a sign shop, uh, or it's going through the commercial printer and they're buying it out for them. Uh, now that we see multiple devices on the market, we're very happy with our relationship with ViewTech. Um, it's a relatively, I would say, easy entry to be able to get into this. You know, from our standpoint as, as a, an engineering company, uh, these Y format inkjet machines are just uh, um, proofers on steroids. Mm -hmm. So for us, it was a very natural thing to be able to bring it into our workflow. And, uh, and I think a lot of printers are really looking that way because they already had a certain piece of the market in the first mm -hmm. place. <laughs> on the uh, on the post press side, there seems to be quite a big push here at, at Graph Expo in the Heidelberg booth with, with post press equipment. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit more on, on that strategy and, and what people are seeing here this week? It's um, value added. Again, is is uh, as more and more printers move to be marketing services provider they have to have a bigger, um, let's say, array of things that they can offer to their clients. So, uh, as example, uh, some of it may be somehow relatively simple three-dimensional direct mailing pieces. Now, a three-dimensional direct mailing piece is otherwise called a box. <laughs> so now you have to have the ability to do folder gluing, die cutting, and those kinds of things. But you can't do it at the industrial level, that, let's say, one of the big packaging companies. So what we've been able to develop uh, with our with our factories and our engineers is relatively uh, entry level, uh, let's say mid range volume that have very very broad range of uh, embossing, foil stamping, uh, and all those kinds of things. And uh, I would say if any place on the booth that we got enormous amount of consistent interest, it was in that area of the booth so far. Interesting. <laughs> um, and then a big big picture question for you. Uh, obviously, we know these are challenged times. Um, for our industry as a whole and for mm -hmm. Heidelberg in particular. Um, what is your advice to printers uh, you know, trying to play in this, in this market space right now? Um, I, you know, if we really look over the last four decades, we've seen that, that it was really the market demand that drove growth. Um, and that's really not there anymore. So now the printer has to step really into the, into the shoes of his customer and it's really about marketing, marketing, marketing. Um, you have to do the back office things right. You have to produce efficiently with low waste and, and those kinds of things. But if you really don't have a, a strong marketing offer to your customers, somebody else does. 
and I think that's the, the, the challenge that the printers uh, see today. On the other side of it, uh, those that we see as most successful, and Andy Paparossi presented that very well in the State of the Industry report on, on Sunday, uh, those at the top 20% of the performers, those that grow out and using good marketing to present themselves to selective customers. Mm -hmm. Jim, I think most people by now are aware that you're going to be retiring soon at the mm -hmm. end of the year. Yeah. Um, I guess, I don't know, congratulations is the right yeah. word. but Thank you. Um, and and you, you've been in Heidelberg for, for 34 years, which That's right. is quite a long time. Yeah. Um, you know, looking back, reflecting on, on your career in the industry, mm -hmm. um, any thoughts, observations you'd like to share? Oh, um, well, you know, as some people might not know this, I started out as an accountant, so I'm a, I'm a recovering accountant, technically. Um, but it, even from the very beginning, I always wondered that, that uh, we, we never seemed to be as industrialized as I, I thought that we could be. And, and here we are today, and we really are industrialized. And, and when I look at uh, where printers uh, are, are taking their business, um, you know, managing data, managing client relationships, and those kinds of things, it's quite a far cry from when 34 years ago I started and I would actually watch some guy do a, a 14 color job on a single color press, uh, which was amazing from an artistic standpoint, except today nobody could probably afford it. So it, it's, it's been a fascinating run. It's an industry that I think all of us that participate in it first and most can say it's a very honorable industry, one we can be proud of and uh, I'm gonna stick close as we go on. Well, we, we wish you the best and we thank you for your time today and uh, hopefully you can come back next year as a guest and uh, see some old friends. I would love to do it, Mark. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.